So what is going on with commission and how does it affect you if you're a buyer or a seller? I could talk about this forever, but I'll spare you. The most important thing for you to know is commission has always been negotiable. For my sellers, I'm still encouraging them to pay the buyer's agent commission. And that is because I want as many buyers through their door as possible. Even if the buyer that came through with an agent who's asking for a certain commission that we might not be willing to pay, that might be the offer that bumps the other offer that you really want to the price that we've been looking for. It's so important to get as many eyes, as many people, as many buyers through your house. What I want sellers to realize is that buyers bring all of the money to the table, whether they're bringing it cash, liquid funds in their down payment or their closing costs or in a loan. They're bringing everything to the table. And so it's just very important that we get the net you're looking for at the end of the day. And for buyers, it's more important than ever to work with an agent who is skilled in negotiating. So for me, this is business as usual. I don't think a lot of people realize this, but there have always been listings where they're offering less than what is considered the normal commission. And so it's the same protocol, picking up the phone, talking to the agent on the other side, explaining that my clients have agreed to pay me a certain amount and I would like for the seller to pay that for them. And in most cases they say, you know, you're like our third or fourth phone call who's been asking me the same question. I'm gonna go back to them. I'm gonna see if I can make that change or we just write it in our offer and we see what happens. And like I said, you know, I could talk about this for a while. So if you have more questions, do not hesitate to reach out. My contact info is below.